Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Nicole Havlicek. In today's video, we're going to show you one of the biggest mistakes you may be making that's making it hard for you to score when serving. Here's Jordan to show us how it's done. As you serve in pickleball, that returning team is coming up to the net, okay, and their partners are ready at the non-volley zone. So the returner is going to try to hit a deep return and come up to the net, and now you and your partner are back and you're trying to work your way or make it up to the non-volley zone okay so this is the number one mistake that beginner players will make okay or even a lot of intermediates I even see a lot of players making this mistake and it makes it really hard for them to score uh, on a really crucial point uh, when they're serving okay so I'm gonna serve I'm gonna serve it and then they're gonna return I don't have a partner here but this is we're kind of playing half court Kind of like skinny singles, I want to show you a big mistake that people will make. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. See if you can catch it. Here we go. All right. The, the better the players are, their goal is to return as deep as they can so that they can cause you and your partner to hit the most difficult third shot as they can okay so me as a serving player or if I'm the partner of the serving player after that service hit I want to make sure I'm at least a foot or two back off the baseline now this is super important because if if I come in even to here and now they're hitting these balls right near the baseline I'm gonna have to hit now hit that third shot falling back or I'm gonna to have to hit it behind me okay so this is really important when you or your partner is serving we really want to be back off the baseline and if the return is short we could easily move forward okay we could either choose to drive it or drop it but if we are up here after the, after the serve is hit we're gonna get caught uh, either you and your partner is gonna get caught and now you're gonna put yourself in a really um, bad situation okay so this is what how it should look like when you or your partner serving okay so here we go I'm gonna serve I'm gonna wait for that ball not get hit a drop and then I'm in okay let's do that one more time that was a really deep uh, return so I choose to drop it okay now let's say you hit a short return okay um, either way I'm still moving forward and I can get to that ball so hit, hit more of a shorter return here we go Okay, good. All right. So as you see, it's very beneficial staying back off this baseline, no matter what kind of serve is hit, right? Because we don't know what our opponent's going to do. Okay, their, their main job is to keep this ball deep. And if we find ourselves caught here, it's going to be really hard for us to get that or to make a good third shot, whether it's a drive, a drop, or a lob, if we're standing here at the baseline, okay? So that's your quick tip of the day. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. For more pro player pickleball secrets to help you play your best game, please visit primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. But before you head on over there, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos.